a senior executive for a major cruise line at a cruise industry conference last week, said, if we can have our assets for up to 40 years, we will. Now, now what are you talking about here? We're talking about 40-year-old cruise ships. We're talking about cruise ships that were built before the turn of the century. I was surprised. This guy, this piqued my interest. I went looking today to find out how many cruise ships were built in the 1900s that are still on the water today. And uh, I was surprised. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about what the oldest cruise ships that are still in service are and which cruise lines have the, the most old ships. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Tony. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you enjoy the cruising content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on, and that way you don't miss out on any of our uploads. So let's talk about old cruise ships. Let's get it out of the way. Are there any 40-year-old cruise ships? There are not any 40-year-old cruise ships, but that was Carnival Corporation president and CEO Arnold Donald making the statement that if they could get a cruise ship to be 40 years old, they would definitely do it. Quoting Mr. Donald, he said, we'll continue with the ship in the fleet if it's relevant to guests and its earning is key. If not, then the ship will be gone. You're breaking that down, if guests still like an older cruise ship and that ship can make money, they're gonna keep uh, putting it out to sea. Now, cruise ships, they've traditionally been designed for a 30-year lifespan, and most of the time, cruise ships are able to pay themselves off in five years. So that's a whole lot of years of profitability. To me, it's simple math. I understand it. I'm the same way. I have a car that I purchased in 2013. I paid it off a couple years ago, and every once in a while, I have to take it in to get it serviced. And, uh, you know, the, I face that question all the time. Would I rather spend uh, $500 or $1,000 or even $2,000 to fix up the car that I've been putting miles on for the last seven years, or would I like to go out and buy a new car? That expense, $30,000, $25,000. I don't even know what a new car costs, but it costs more than the $500 or the $1,000 that I'm putting in my old car. And I'm assuming that the cruise industry works the same way. They put these ships in dry dock, they spend a little bit of money, much less than what they would spend to build a new cruise ship, and then they put her back out on the sea to continue making profit. I get it. But that leaves us with the question, okay, there's no 40-year-old cruise ships, but how old is the oldest cruise ship? Well, this is 2020, and the, there's two that are tied. There will be two cruise ships this year that turn 30 years old. I'm thinking 30 years ago, I was only 18. Wow, the world has changed a lot in 30 years, but 30 years ago, two ships came into the cruising market space, and I've been on one of them. The first one I'll talk about is the Carnival Fantasy. The Carnival Fantasy was built in 1990, 30 years ago, and that was the first cruise ship I ever sailed on. Of course, she's gone through a lot of dry docks, and I had a great time on the Carnival Fantasy. And then there's a Royal Caribbean ship, the Empress of the Seas, also built in 1990. And look, I was not content just knowing the oldest cruise ships. I wanted to know how many cruise ships were built before the turn of the century. I looked at 10 different cruise lines. I looked at Carnival, Royal Caribbean. I looked at Princess and Celebrity. I looked at MSC, Holland America, Norwegian Cruise Line, p and Cruise Line, Costa, and Disney. And out of those 10 cruise lines, well, if you add them all up, those 10 cruise lines represent a fleet of 158 cruise ships. And out of those 158 cruise ships, 26 of them built in the 1900s, that's 16% of the overall cruising fleet for those 10 cruise lines combined. So you may be asking who has the most cruise ships that are old, most cruise ships that were built in the 1900s. I did it two ways. I did it ranking from 10 to one based on just pure count of the cruise ship, and then I did it as a percentage of the fleet. Uh, let's go just with the raw count now. Number 10, MSC has zero cruise ships built in the 1900s. Number nine, Celebrity, zero cruise ships built in the 1900s. Number eight, P&O, another zero, no ships built before the turn of the millennia. Number seven, NCL, has two ships built in the 1900s. Number six, Costa, also two ships in the 1900s. Number five, Disney, two ships built in the 1900s. Number four, Princess, four of their ships built before the year 2000. Uh, number three, Holland America, four ships built before the year 2000. Number two, Royal Caribbean, six cruise ships 
built in the 1900s, built in the 1990s, I guess, to be more specific. And number one, the cruise line with the most ships built before the turn of the century, Carnival with eight cruise ships built in the 1990s. And of course, Royal and Carnival at the top of the list, they have the biggest fleet. Both of them have 26 ships in their fleet. So it makes sense that there's gonna be more older ships there. But when we look at it by a percentage, overall percentage, it's pretty interesting. So I rank these by the size of the fleet and then the percentage of that fleet that has ships that were built in the 1990s. So kicking off that list, number 10 MSC, 16 ships in their fleet, zero older ships. Number nine, Celebrity, 14 ships in their fleet, uh, zero older ships. Number eight, P&O, six ships in their fleet, zero older ships. Number seven, Norwegian Cruise Line, 17 ships in their fleet, two older ships for a percentage of 12% older ships in their fleet. Number six, Costa, 16 ships in their fleet, two of them are older ships, 13% older ships for Costa. Number five, Princess, 18 ships in their fleet, Four of them are older ships. 22% of their ships are older ships. Number six, Royal Caribbean, 26 ships in their fleet. Six are older ships. 23% of their fleet are represented by older ships, ships built in the 1900s. Number three, Holland America, 14 ships in the fleet. Four of them are older ships. 29% of their fleet is older. Number two, Carnival, 26 ships in the fleet, eight of them built in the 1990s. 31% of Carnival's fleet is an older build. And then number one, Disney, look, it's just pure math. There's only five Disney ships, two of them built in the 1900s and the 1990s for a whopping 40% of Disney's fleet represented by an older ship, a ship that's at least 20 years old. I don't know if that counts as old, but uh, ships that are getting close to the end of their life or they're middle-aged. If we're trying to get to 40, these ships that are over 20, maybe they're just going through their midlife crisis. So this was interesting to me nonetheless. Uh, I think we all struggle with this idea when it comes to big assets, houses, cars. Do we want to buy the new car? Do we want to buy the new house? Or if we can spend a little bit of coin to uh, refurbish, to fix up what we have, uh, should we do that? And it's interesting to see that even in the cruising industry, that's a conversation. Of course, uh, you know, profitability is a big component there. If they can spend a little to continue to be profitable instead of spending a lot building a new ship, then might as well do that. But that's not to say that these companies are not investing in new cruise ships. Part of the goal here is to increase the fleet size, not just keep the size the same. And so in order to do that, they have to have new builds and they have to keep maintaining the fleet that they have. And that's how they keep up with the growth in the cruising industry. One of the fastest vacation sectors, one of the fastest growing sectors is cruise vacations. And so uh, if you wanna be at the top of that heap, you got to have assets, you got to have product, you got to have cruise ship. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as you're cruising. And we get asked a lot, how do you go on more than one cruise a year? Well, I did a series of videos that talk about how to go on multiple cruises in a year, how to save up for your cruise, how to make extra money for your cruise. I'll leave uh, that playlist right here. Go check out those videos. I think there's some information that could be helpful if you want to cruise more. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Tony with La Lita Loca. If you enjoyed today's show, please hit the like button. And until the next time, We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.